I think I can get away with saying that in most mainstream languages, making changes sucks, while it's pretty decent in FP. Let's do a little questionnaire and be honest with yourself. For each situation, think about how often you have to deal with it or when it happened last time. First one is mixing two strings by accident. For example, product ID with article ID or order ID. Passing wrong arguments to the libraries function. Writing another multi-line loop that is slightly different from the another one. And hopefully we are all generally past the index out of bound errors at this point. Getting null pointer exception undefined or another unexpected million dollar mistake. Going through dozens of files trying to find a cause of the side effect. Or struggling with shared data in multi-threaded applications. What if you didn't have to deal with any of this? What if functional programming not magically solves this? So you might be wondering, okay, wait, people love functional programming not because they love function, math, theory, and being non-programmatic, right? Yeah, people love functional code because it's pleasure to write and maintain. People love functional programming because we like doing more with less. We like code reuse. We like it when compilers catch bugs, not QAs or users. We like when programs don't do random unexpected shit. We like when the code fits into one's head. We like free functionality that establish patterns and abstractions give us from language to language. And we like playing with Legos. Sure, hard theory serves as a foundation behind all of this. And some people enjoy that part as well. But but if you don't, if you only want to enjoy the fruits of the knowledge tree, it's also acceptable. Just write the code and don't dive into the theory. At this point, some might say, okay, but what about reading functional code? Or if only I got a dollar every time somebody says that functional programming is unintuitive or too difficult to learn. So let me just take a step back and ask, do I understand this correctly? A person spends years in school or university studying some non-functional paradigms and languages and practices at a job for a few years, later looks at some functional code for a couple of days or even hours and says, functional programming is less natural, less intuitive. Isn't it a bit unfair, a bit biased? Okay, sorry, let me bring the sassiness level down. Yeah, functional programming requires a different mindset when compared to mainstream programming, which at first makes functional programming seems difficult to learn. But programming is difficult. Learning programming for the first time is difficult. Also, when it comes to skills, is there really such a thing as something being more difficult? Or is it a matter of it being familiar versus unfamiliar? With years of experience using, for example, the imperative paradigm, when you try to learn another imperative language, it is familiar. Sure, there are some different concepts here and there, but you don't start from scratch. And when you try functional programming after that, it can feel very alien. There are a bunch of new things all at once. With practice and patience, anyone can become proficient in functional programming and pretty much anything else. And once you do, you will have a whole new powerful and expressive toolbox at your disposal. Some other devs believe that functional programming is slow because it requires more memory allocation and copying stuff around because of all the function calls, immutability or whatever, which is false. First, expensive allocations and function calls is a language or compiler problem, not a functional programming problem. In many mainstream languages, functional concepts are an afterthought. Just because JavaScript for OR or for IN loops are slower than old fashioned for I loops, it doesn't make it a generic problem. And regarding immutability, compilers get a lot of room for optimization when they don't have to worry about or analyze for mutability. Also, it's important to remember that things are not black and white. Regardless of the language, you can still use mutability when you need. When done right, immutable data structures are often faster and more memory efficient. Contrary to a widespread belief, making copies of an immutable data structure is cheap. Values are not physically copied. Most commonly, when you modify a data structure, you get a new version created by referring to the old version or its part with additional change. Take a link list, for example. The new list B reuses the whole part of A. If you're interested, search for persistent data structure and structural sharing. Here's a bonus question. What is more safe and efficient in multi-threaded applications? Immutable or mutable data? So, if you want to bring fun back into programming, welcome to functional programming. Learn more about philosophies of functional programming and make functional programming click by joining How to Think Like a Functional Programmer. Or don't.